Hello everybody, this is Ali Reza. Welcome to another Kianda the Smart Home Tutorial. What you saw was monitoring level of water tank in Home Assistant using ESP8266 development board. Yes, in today's video I'll show you how you can monitor level of water tank in Home Assistant using ESP32 or ESP8266 development boards running ESP Home. By monitoring level of water tank as an example, it can be filled automatically. How? When the level of water gets to the lowest point, a turn-on signal is sent to the pump. And when it gets to the full, a turn-off signal is sent. In previous videos, we learned how to install ESP Home on ESP devices and how to set them up in Home Assistant. You can find the links of these videos in description. Assuming you have done it and ready, let's continue. In Home Assistant, head over to Supervisor Panel and open ESP Home by clicking on it. In this page, click on Open Web UI. After that, click on Edit of the node you want to use it to monitor water tank. The main point of this project is using binary sensors. The one that suits this project is prop sensors. We use them as water level indicators. Binary sensors are digital in nature and they monitor and report one of the two mutually exclusive values. For example, a water sensor reports and monitors presence or absence of water. These codes, or let's say lines, define binary sensor, especially water indicator. You can find them in description and change pin numbers based on your device. Entering these codes into the YAMP file, be careful, as if you enter them in a wrong way, install button will be disabled. In this project, or let's say in this example, I use three sensors. Let's get deep to the lines. First of all, we want to use binary sensors. So I enter binary sensor, then column. The platform is GPIO. Do not forget to put this line. By looking at the manual of your development board, you can find out which pins are best to be used as digital inputs better to say binary sensors. This table shows best inputs pins for ESP8266 and ESP32 boards. So in pins section, enter the number of the pin for the first sensor. Mod input pull up. In our example, wires or props are connected directly to the board so this line adds stability. Inverted, just inverts every value based on the input. In name section, I named one of the sensors full, the other half, and the other, the last one empty. Device class, moisture. Defines how the sensor's state may be represented in Home Assistant UI. Moisture states are wet for presence of water and dry, which means absence of water. Filters. The filters add to the stability and prevent wrong reports. I have put platform, pin, name, and device class, including filters for each sensor behind the binary sensor. After entering the lines, click Install. As I mentioned, your development board is connected wirelessly to Home Assistant. So I select wirelessly to install this edited YAMP file on my ESP device. Wait till installation completes. Installation is completed. I click on stop. 
Then I navigate to configuration, select integrations. This is my device, not MCU. I click on three dots, select reload. Then I select one device. This is the device. I open it. Here we have sensors, empty, full, half. By going to overview, clicking three dots at the top right of the screen, then selecting edit dashboard. After that, clicking on add card, we can add the sensors to the dashboard. That's it. Talking about device classes, here you see that a water is shown as icon. This is why we used moisture. For the filters, we used two seconds delay to prevent wrong reports. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done already. Also, you can support me by buying me a coffee. I'll see you in the next video.